I was supposed to go with Aunt Donna today, but just some things got in the way, and we changed it to Tuesday. So make sure you're watching Tuesday, because I got a big announcement to talk about, I'm excited about. Well, I hope you're all having a blessed day. Hey, Tommy. Um, I haven't been on in a while. I know. Don't need reminding. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Um, hey, hey, Mom, Becky. Uh, just been busy, you know, and how my life is up and down, up and down, and days up. And I thought since I went ahead and tried to make myself look hearts, 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 hearts. Uh, halfway party, uh, I thought, you know what, why don't I get on and say hey to my friends, because I, I, I look decent, I guess, I won't scare them away, <laughs> I hope not anyway, <laughs> oh, thank you, Tommy, that's sweet, I love you too, Mama, hi, 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 hi. hey, Melanie, hey, everybody, I hope you're all doing good, I hope you're a great day, um, my eye makeup. I'm trying a different color. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. I told y'all. I'd still do the makeup I did when I was 18. <laughs> but I'm trying to color it. Color. It's, it's fun or it's a Halloween party. <laughs> hey, Glenn. Hey, everybody. So, I hope you're all having a wonderful December so far, um, in this crazy world we live in. Um, hey, Marianne. Hey, Melanie. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All the compliments. That's, that's great. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Mom. I appreciate that. About 20 pounds, and I feel a lot better. <laughs> anyway. But no, everybody's doing good here, except y'all please pray, because Emma, God bless her, she's got the flu and uh, the my wonderful mom from Brooklyn uh, called it Cosmo, but the COVID, she's got both. So... We really need to pray for her right now, if, if you don't mind. And um, just, you know, because she can't, her or, you know, Hadley can't be around anybody. And so, it's a little rough right now. So, we'll just keep praying and I have faith. So, hey, Gwen, thank you. Um, I hope the same for you and your family. Hey, Pam. Hey, Melanie. Hey. I don't personally, uh, I don't mind what you say. I just don't um, believe in um, the, you know. Uh, but we call it I Love Jesus Day here. So, happy I Love Jesus Day <laughs> when it comes. Uh, which is every day, but, you know, we make it like a special day that way. Um, but that's just the way that I believe. You don't, you have your own beliefs. We have free will. Um, I know, Mom, I mean, to have both at the same time, I was just like, and, and the thing was, she was like kissing all over me like three days before that, and I'm like, oh gosh, you know, but hey, if I get it, I get it. <laughs> Amen, Gwen, that's right, Amen, as long as you haven't been here, it's all that matters, so. Hey, Cheryl, hey, everybody. I'm sitting out on my front porch. I was gonna sit on the back porch, but it was so sunny. I was like this right here, and the sun was in it. The, they tell you the light brings out the good in some and the bad in others. It makes whatever poor my, I'm just kidding, I don't know. Where are the puppies? They're in the house. They're in the house. I'll show them to you in a minute. Yes, my, uh, if you don't know, uh, my dad is very, uh, known for deciding just at the spur of the moment that he wants to get a dog or two sometimes, and, um, you know, he raises chickens anyway, free range, you know, we do this free range, and he's decided now, you know, we needed two more dogs, but see, he don't want to um, raise them for the puppy stage. 
So guess who he is? <sighs> yeah. Mostly John. I'll give it to John. John, he's, he's doing a lot of it, but I didn't think I signed up for puppy daycare. Especially not foster puppies. Because eventually they're going to be with the chicken. <sighs> My daddy. I love him. I love him more than any words could ever say. But I wonder sometimes where his brain goes. Maybe I got the brain. I, yeah, I, I don't know. He's a very intelligent, smart man. Most of the time. Other times you just wonder maybe he'd hit his head a couple times too hard. I don't... Just saying. I mean, we've all been there. I'm just saying. Hi, that, 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 that. Hey, Cheryl. Hey. Hey. Hey, brother. Hey. So, yeah. I was going to be on with it, Donna. And it just, it, between, we couldn't, there was something with the sound, but it was like her computer. Like, she was having to use her old one because something's wrong with her regular one. And then we couldn't get the sound right. And, you know, on, it's on, like, TV. So, Tuesday, I'll be going on at 1 o'clock. So, you better be on the end. So, which will be live on here, too. It's always live on Facebook. But it'll be live on TV, too. So, And, like I said, I've got a special announcement um, I want to say and tell y'all about. And maybe some of y'all get involved. We'll see. Uh, on Tuesday, so better be there at one o'clock. One o'clock on Tuesday. So, hey Connie, I don't want to butcher your name. It looks amazingly beautiful. So, hello, beautiful woman with the name that I can't pronounce. <laughs> hey sis. Hey 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 hey. I love y'all too. Hey, thank you. Hey, Danny. Hey, Giselle. I'm sorry, Martinson. If I if I mess it up, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Sherry. Hey, everybody. So, what's been going on in your lives? I mean, you know, there's. We're not talking about politics. Let me bring that mess up. I'm not doing that today. Not not today. God told me to keep my heart pure. So that's what I'm going to do. Pray out the bad. Keep the good. <laughs> hey, Sherry. I love you too, Maya. You know I won't tell Mom. I already told you last night. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. So she's my mom. Uh, you know, my mom, who God gave me, is a surrogate when my mom isn't around. So yes, mommy, you know. But after Tuesday, though, I hope you tell everybody you know. <laughs> going to be awesome, and I just pray that everything goes good, so. So, come on, what y'all are doing? I get out, you know, I try to get decent looking for y'all, you know, and, you know, it takes me forever, 10 minutes, and, <clears throat> I'm just kidding, <laughs> 30, um, I need to get my nails done, but I'm not showing to you because they look bad and two are missing, so I don't want to embarrass my nails. So I'm, But I'm going to get them done when John can take me. <laughs> anyway. Well, nobody's talking. Nobody's saying nothing. I guess I miss you more than you miss me. Yeah, that's it. I'm calling it. What's this? Is it good? Yeah. Something like that. Miss Melissa, I hadn't, still hadn't had my hair done. Or nothing. I haven't colored or cut my hair in over a year, I think. <laughs> just, just 
um, not a priority. I'm grateful that I got my daddy's hair. My daddy, he's got his gray beard and all that, but he's got like, still got full dark hair, you know. Hey, Renee. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. Mom, tell me, my Bella, I said, hey, I love her if she's not with you. If she is with you, tell her. I said, hi, and I love her. <laughs> So yeah, roll tide, just saying. Hey, you know, if you wanna do me a little favor, just a little one, you can call up a radio station and ask for them <laughs> them to play my song from Daddy and Them's Christmas album, The Greatest Gift, and they can play it. And then maybe it'll get in the rotation. <laughs> that would be really cool. <laughs> no pressure. You know, just just say I'm just throwing it. You know, saying that you can call and request the song "Greatest Gift" by Alabama Teddy Jeans, number nine track. Just saying. <laughs> hey Lisa. Hey everybody. I missed y'all though. You know. Get on and like I want to talk to y'all. Hey, Catherine, and stuff. And then I get on and nobody talks, and I'm like, okay, I guess not. So I just sit here and I keep talking to myself, and that's probably why people don't watch because I'm probably think I'm crazy. That's okay. I'd rather be crazy than be normal, whatever that is, because that's not me. <laughs> that's boring. Who wants to be normal? It is normal. Who cares? See, that's what my brain does, you know. Anyway. I want y'all to know for real, though. Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about mental um, health awareness and talking about, you know, people who go through um, depression and have um, different things and I want you to know you're not alone you know I'm I'm a part of that group and um, it's not that we choose that it's just the way it happens and we have to learn how to choose how to not be in that group and God has been the main foundation for me getting my um, getting me back. It took me a while. I've been through so much, and y'all have no idea. A few of you may, but most of you don't, and you probably wouldn't believe me if I told you. And I've been through pretty much everything you think of and back. And it, it molded me to who I am. It also broke me down, and I had to climb my way back up, and you know, like I said, through God and having people that love me and they're there for me. And there's just a handful that truly love me and truly care about me. And I know those people. Thank you. And I, and I thank you because without y'all, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know where I'd, you know, be standing right now. And to thank God for giving me even though I, I always say I was a late bloomer when I started writing, but I just thank God for him giving me the gift. And it was the right time. And that's why, you know, I don't ever question God. Um, if something was so planned out and so done and something just happened and didn't happen, I don't go, well, daggum, you know. No, it's not. You know, sometimes things happen for a reason and sometimes they don't. But how you end up in the end is what really matters. And so, I love you too, sis, so much. Hey, Jackie. Um, no matter what you go through in this life, there is nothing that you can't get through with God. Please understand that. You know, there are a lot of people at the holidays that don't have a big family. And... Um, 
like the family I have is the family around here, you know. Um, we're just a few, and that's it, you know, but that's just, it's gone. And uh, just love each, that's why I always say love each other, take care of one another, because you just don't know. You really just don't know when, you know, God's ready to, for them to go. And just, just don't have any hate in your heart, because God won't reside with hate. And pray for those people that make your skin crawl and might be nasty, you know, because you don't know their life story either, you know. I don't try to judge or assume. Was it saying don't assume because it makes an ass out of you and me, you know? Well, Mom taught me that don't ever assume, don't, ne don't ever say the word never, and we don't ever say the word quit. Um... If y'all haven't heard this story, I'll tell it real quick. If you heard it, well, you hear it again. There was a time when Daddy and them, they were, this was right, this was before they got, like, um, famous, but, like, not too, not too far from it. They were, like, right on that line. And they were all riding in the Blue Goose, if y'all know the van, the they had this bunny called the Blue Goose. Or they were on a bus. Something like, one of the two. No, I think they were on a bus. Okay, yeah, I think it was an old bus. And they were talking, and kind of, you know, a couple of the guys were kind of burnt out because they'd been playing their butts off for so long for hardly anything. But because that was their dream, that that's, that's what they did, you know. Um... Well, one night, uh, Mark had mentioned, uh, I don't know if, if y'all know, um, I mean, that Greg Fowler, and Greg, and Miss Shirley, and her, all their big family, uh, was their manager, and he tell, told a story about how they were on this bus. Thank y'all so much. And uh, they were talking, and Mark had mentioned uh, something about quitting. Well, um, that's the word, do, 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 do not um, say in front of my daddy. So daddy jumped, yeah, it was a bus, because he had to jump a table. There's a table, and there's like a like seats on each side. And Daddy went to jump to get Mark, and if it hadn't have been for Greg jumping in between, uh, Mark would have probably had a black eye. <laughs> but that's just the way they were, you know. That and that that was it, and it never said a word again, you know. That it was like after everything we'd done, no way, you know. So okay, Miss Lisa, you have a wonderful day, darling. Um, you know, I deal with a lot of health issues that I cannot help. I didn't do anything to get it. It just happens. Half of it's genetic. The other half, it just happens. And I have days it's hard for me to move. And there are other days that, you know, I'm okay, you know. Um, but my life will not ever be what it was. And I accepted that a long time ago. Um done everything you can do to try to get better not one time ever said no i ain't doing that no I ain't. i've done everything any doctor has ever told me to do been put on like nearly every medication you can pretty much think of and it took me about 10 years to find a doctor who knew what they were doing and not use me as a guinea pig and for me to be able to be a functioning human being without being put on medicine to make me be a zombie because that's not what I want in life is to just get by. I want to live life. So, you know, that's the gift we're given. And, and talking about people like us talking about mental health, you know, I don't know how deep your battle has been. I don't know how shallow it might have been. Or maybe you've never even experienced it. But I know how deep it can go. And just remember, it's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And you don't realize the pain that you're leaving behind. You know, there's always someone out there. You just can't quit. 
You just can't quit. You know, you're worth every breath you take or you wouldn't be here. God doesn't make mistakes. And we're all made in his image. He didn't make a mistake. You know, we make the mistakes. And that's why before I go online or I talk to people, I tell God to please help me say what he, you know, if someone needs me to hear, needs to hear or tell me, help me to get his message, message through that someone needs to hear it that day, maybe. I don't question, I just do it. And I, I just love y'all so much. And if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't have any hardly anybody you know um because they would they wouldn't care about some girl from alabama you know not to even try to get to know me because i don't go and do stupid flashy dumb things like all these millionaire facebook people do i just one that's not me and two people don't have to live a life to where if they tell some stories you could ruin a family because it's one big loop with my family and one little ripple hits a lot of families and so that's why you don't hear you will not hear things like that from us we raise right and you know what i mean so hey shine thank you sis it's just sometimes it's good to hear it you know and um I talk to God all the time. People think I'm crazy that I'm talking to myself, but I'm really talking to God. And I'm like, well, he knows. So that's all that matters, you know. Um, but he's the only one that gets everything. might take me a little while to get it, but he's already got it. I just got to figure it out. And sometimes it takes going through ups and downs to find the middle ground, but you'll get there. Just don't give up. If you want it bad enough, you won't get up. And coming as a writer, that I'm one in a billion probably in this world. That's what I am, one in a billion. You know, but I am one. And hey, I'm happy. And God gave me this gift, and I'll keep writing until he says, that's okay, I'm done. You know, but until then, it, I love it. And when it touches people and they understand it and they been through it or they know what I'm talking about and they feel it that's what it's about for me is about that connection because if if I write something you don't get or you don't understand or you don't feel what's the point you know so I've been very very um blessed to have God help me right right so I, I'm thankful I thank him for the gift of writing so Hey, Sybil. Hey, Denise. Hey, Veronica. Hey. Hope you're having a great day. Um, again, I will be with Miss Donna. Oh, hi, 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 hi. Oh, Miss Gail would love some snow. Would love some snow. Ma, you're exactly right, sweetie. You're right. Hey, Michelle. I was going to say something. I forgot. That happens to me all the time. We hadn't had like real snow. We had like a little dusting like a couple weeks ago, I guess. But it was like by the time, you know, the sun come up in the morning, it's just a little bit on the grass. <laughs> but, um, love and hope you have a wonderful uh, peace and love to all your family too, Miss Michelle. Thank you for coming on. Um... But, yeah, yeah, actually, I think Anthony told me they say that we might get a little for Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And, and um, I'll just say it. And uh, so that'll be a first in a long time. It's been years since we've had it on actual holiday. So, but anyway, um, I guess if nobody's talking and nobody wants to ask any questions. I just wanted to get on and uh, check in with everybody and see how you're doing. Please, please do not forget to, uh, it'll be on Facebook Live. It'll also be on TV. The link will be on my page Tuesday. Um, I'll be on at 1 o'clock 
and I have big news, like I said. I cannot wait to share it with everybody. And I pray that everything goes well. And a lot of you could be helping. So we'll, uh, y'all just wait till Tuesday, 1 o'clock with Miss Donna and uh, her drive at 5. And, and we'll talk about it and we'll see how things go. Um, I love you all. That's what I heard, Miss Michelle, that, that right down here, you know, if it ain't Dixie, you won't do. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be awesome, though, if we did have some snow. It would be. Um, just wish I had my grandbabies down here, but oh well. One day we can pray, right? But I love y'all very much, and thank y'all, as always, if it's a day that goes by or a month, don't think I don't care about you and I don't think about you. I do. Um, we all have times where we need to uh, have our own times to kind of look inside, and especially when issues are growing in your family, and you have to figure out where you fit, you know, and I'm figuring that out. And to my daughter, Jessie, um, I love you, sweetheart. Thank you for all you do to help. And Emma, no baby girl, we are praying for you. If y'all didn't hear before, she has the flu and COVID. So please pray for her because she's got a little Hadley. And um, so we got a lot of praying and um, having a lot of faith holding on to that. So I love y'all very much. And... God's always with you. Please don't ever forget that. He's always with you. All you gotta do is ask. All you gotta do is ask. So, take care of each other. Love one another. Know that I love you. and that God loves you. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. I would really appreciate it. I have been on YouTube for 10 years now. And I still don't have people who sign up and... It hurts when I see people who have so many, but they're so fake, and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? You know, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> so if you can, you don't mind, I would appreciate that. But anyway, anyway, if I don't see you again, which I may later, maybe, 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 might get John on, we'll see, I'm not sure. But uh, definitely Tuesday, remember, one o'clock, be there, and or try to be. And I love y'all and know that everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be okay. I love you all. Take care of each other. Love one another. I love you. God loves you.